Hey everyone, RJ here with CV Tech. This is the unboxing of the Essential PH1. Let's take a look at it. Okay everyone, so this is the Essential PH1. Uh, yes, I know I'm a year late to the unboxing game, but I picked it up and I wanna unbox it myself. So let's just go ahead and look at it. There you'll see the Essential Phone in pure white on the back here. It says Essential Phone, fast charger, USB cable, and headphone adapter, which is what it includes in the box. Let's go ahead and rip off this little thing right there. And we'll open this box up just like that. And there's everything right there. Simple, easy to find. The phone right here. Go ahead and pull the phone out and pull to the side for a moment. Of course, right here is your fast charging brick there, as well as your USB-C 3.5 little dongle there. And you get a really nice braided USB Type-C charging cable there. And I wanna say that's probably all that comes in the box. Of course, there's your SIM removal tool there. Really nice stuff, and I'm guessing that's probably all that's in this box. So uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and put it all to the side and we'll look at the phone. Okay, so now in the hand, uh, phone looks and feels very nice. Got a very nice, heavy, sturdy feel to it uh, with the ceramic and titanium here. On the front, of course, is your 5.7 inch display. Uh, your little notch there for your camera cutout. Let's go ahead and remove this uh, screen protector here. Just like that. On the left side here, we have nothing. On the top, we have nothing as well. On the bottom, we do have your speaker, USB Type-C, microphone, and SIM card slot there. On the back, we do have the fingerprint scanner, as well as your dual cameras, flash, and secondary mic and on the right here is your power button as well as your volume up and down go ahead and remove this back here as well and i gotta say man this phone just looks really good you gotta really see it in person to just kind of take advantage of how good the phone actually does look so let's go ahead now and power up so we got the little logo there powered by android so yeah, I'm really anxious to use this phone, try this phone out. I'm really interested to see how it's gonna be in live streams and even making videos. I'm really interested to see how it's gonna work out. So let me go ahead right now, get it all set up and I will come back when it's finished. We're all set up now and ready to go. And I gotta say, after a few minutes of using this phone so far, I am really liking it, okay? This phone does feel very heavy in the hand. It does look kind of thick. Uh, which is no problem, uh, but it does feel kind of heavy, and I kind of like that about this phone. Now, the fingerprint scanner here is already set up, so go ahead and test that out. So, pretty fast there, as you can see. Uh, opens right up, no problem. Now, this camera cannot do this screen justice at all, okay? This screen is just a beautiful display. It looks really good, very crisp, very clear, and it just looks really nice. So, of course... You can swipe over here for all your Google stuff. Swipe up here to see just how little's in the phone. You know, just a, just your essentials, pretty much. Um, YouTube and photos, stuff like that. Not a whole lot going on here. Not a lot installed, actually. Got your drop down here, of course. So really nice stuff here for your Wi-Fi, flashlight, airplane mode, uh, hotspot location. You can also edit those as well. Let's go to the settings here for a minute and look around. Got your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, data usage. Got more for NFC, Android Beam, tethering and portable hotspot, VPN, and cellular networks. Uh, you do have your display here for your brightness level, adaptive brightness, wallpaper, sleep, screensaver, ambient display, font and display size, and you can cast your screen there as well. You got your notification sounds. And your sounds there, applications, you got your storage, says 17.14 gigabytes used of 116. This is the 128 gigabyte model, of course, but no SD card slot. That's kind of a downside to me, but hey, a lot of storage, it's all good, you know, it is what it is. Now, battery here at 45%, not a whole lot going on in here. These buttons here for battery optimization, pretty much it going on in there. Uh, it does have four gigabytes of 
RAM, tap and pay, support, you got gestures, you can jump the camera by pressing the power button twice, it works from any screen, and you can lift your phone to quickly check your notifications. Got security here as well for screen lock, fingerprint, smart lock, all that kind of stuff there. Typical Android stuff there. Got essential just for uses and diagnostics. Accounts, Google, just typical stuff here that you see. Accessibility here. You got talk back, select to speak, switch access. You got captions, magnification gestures, on or all, font size, display size, click after your pointer stops moving. You got high contrast text, power button ends call, on or off, auto take screen, on or off, speak passwords, on or off. Large mouse pointer on or off, mono audio, accessibility shortcuts, text to speech output, touch and delay, color inversion, and color correction. So, looking down here at about phone, this one here is running Android 7.1.1 uh, with September 2017 security patch, so it will get 8.1 Oreo. Just gotta, you know, get it set up. So, yeah, all good stuff there. Let's go back home and look around a little bit. And I got your dialer down here. So just your typical standard dialer there, nothing too special. Uh, you have your messages here, probably has Gboard on board. And yes, I do believe it does. So we'll look at that there. You can, of course, download third-party keyboards if you'd like. I personally like Gboard, I always have. Your emojis are here as well. So there's plenty of them to choose from. So go back home from there. So taking a quick look here at the camera, uh, looks really nice. Got your auto mode. You have mono mode here as well, as well as slow motion. So we'll go back to auto mode here. Now up top here is your settings, your flash HDR mode. This is to change your um, camcorder settings, self timer, and your front facing camera button there. Look at the settings. Wow, there's not a lot. Play shutter sounds and store locations. Not really sure how you change your megapixels or your aspect or whatever, but uh, we'll figure that out later on. Of course, your flash HDR mode up here says HD for video, it says 60. So I'm guessing maybe that's 1080 60. I don't know. Then you have 4K. So you got 4K recording as well. We'll leave it at HD for now. Now look at the front facing camera here. Um, yeah, got some lines going through these LEDs and everything. Got the same mono slow motion there. Settings here just says play shutter sounds and store location. Records in HD and 4K. So, okay, there we go. So, yeah, just do some testing around with this thing a little bit more and stuff like that before I could, you know, got to learn it and everything, of course. But so far, the phone feels very snappy with the 835 processor. I know it's not 845. That don't really matter to me because, you know, it is what it is. And I got no problem with the 835 processor. So, this is the Essential phone. And so far, I am really liking it. It feels really nice. feels very snappy. And uh, so, yeah, I can't wait to live stream from it, do some videos from it, all that kind of good stuff. So, anyway, if this was helpful and informative, you enjoy seeing this on my channel, hit that like button. I know I'm a year late to the game, but, you know, got it for a very good price, of course. And um, so, yeah, leave any comments you may have down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that bell as well for notifications. That would be awesome. Y'all have a good one, and thanks for watching.